Harley Davidson copied Indian. And there's no way Harley copied Indian. Coming from a, a, a neutral standpoint right now, I'm I'm Switzerland right now. Indian needs to respond now. 100%. I guess for, they must have all copied each other. <laughs> the video guys we're here with my boy rich baggers and bs if you have not followed him on his youtube channel i'm gonna be linking his link down below you guys can see him as three baggers yeah three baggers um his new one right here we're gonna be talking about a very topic today a very sensitive topic at that touch so he just bought this bike last week this is the brand new harley davidson 2024 harley davidson cbo st now he is an Indian owner. He has an Indian challenger, right? I am a fan of both brands. So before we dive into this conversation and then the haters are gonna be like, well, you're very biased and this and this or that or just, I'm, I'm coming from a, a, a neutral standpoint right now. I'm, I'm Switzerland right now in this whole thing. Both of us. Yeah, owner and then a fan of, of both <clears throat> brands. So. This bike comes out, 23, mm. well, the design, mm. and everyone's saying, Harley Davidson copied Indian. <laughs> uh, you know what, the, uh, that is the most ridiculous thing I've heard. <laughs> like, they copied, that's like saying that Chevy copied Ford. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's a pickup truck, and guess what, they came out with a pickup truck too. Yeah. Well, this looks nothing like the Indian. No. I don't care how futuristic this looks or how much more improved it is on the you know the you, how they shaped it. it looks nothing like the indian there's no way in hell indian copied in uh harley and there's no way harley copied indian yeah well th that that was my next thing is that this uh, how, how can you copy a copy of a copy right Be because or originally even when, when the indian came out with the challenger back in 21 or 20 um Everyone was, well, the Harley community was saying, well, Indian copied Harley. No. I you know? Mean, yeah. So now the opposite group is saying, well, Harley copied Indian. So basically you're saying is that you <laughs> copied a copied of a copied. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, listen, I, I think people put thing, things out into the air just to create controversy. There's no... There, there are similarities. There, of course there's similarities. We'll, we'll be fair and say that. There are very similarities. There, it's a bike. There's, there's going to be similarities. Yeah. You know, there's going to be some design similarities. They're both trying to improve lighting and functionality. They're both trying to perform uh, per perfect performance and aesthetics and, 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 you know, efficiency. So, of course, there's going to be similarities. That I, I totally agree with and understand. Yeah. But being a fan of both of them, I am not biased towards either one. I love my Indian. I mean, you know that. I love... <laughs> you know how I feel about yeah, this. Yeah, that bike is a beast. Yeah. A bike to ride is fun. It's a fun bike to ride. Right. So, like, you know... I, and it's beautiful. I, I like the design of it. Yeah, I love the design of it. I love the color. I love the way I have it set up, which is, you know, like we said, maybe one of a kind because the way, you know, the dash kit and everything, but one of a kind in this area. But that being said, there's no copying. There's nothing, like... Some of these people who say these things, I think, like, wouldn't even throw a leg over an Indian because they're purists and, oh, I'm not gonna It's Absolutely. like, stop, bro. It's a bike. Absolutely. Because you know what? That's and, like and then and then on the opposite compound, it's 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 some of the people that would say from Indians. 100%. It's people that just hate the Harley, Harley brands. Right, of course. You know? But they, they hate it just because they want to hate it. Well, just because it's, it's Harley. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like it's like hating a person for the way they look, yeah. or disliking a car for the design. Yeah, you know. I'm I'm happy you brought up the whole car thing because a lot, uh, I bring up a lot of when I'm doing my videos here. I bring up a lot of car stuff, yeah. or like in comparisons. Yeah. Um, and it's 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 true, like you said. So you know, you got. Let's talk about pickups real quick. Right. Ford F one fifty. One of my favorite trucks. I own one. Sierra. One of my I love it. I think they're it's a, it's a GMC Sierra is a great truck. Chevy. Awesome truck. I love their motors. Right. But they look very similar. They, you know, they have some similarities. But same... Of course. I guess well, they must have all copied each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a competition, man. It's competition and, and it's, you know, it's who could make a better uh, a vehicle, a better bike, better than, than better the opponent. Product. And guess what? At the end of the day, the people who are going to win is 
is us. The consumer. The consumer. That's yeah. it. Because That's what keeps the product you, moving forward. Yeah, if you're going to have, I mean, let, let's be honest here. Harley Davidson was, before Indian <clears throat> came back out again, because, you know, they were long gone for a while. Um, I feel like it was very bland. They weren't stepping out of their comfort zone. Right. And they're just giving the customer the same thing over and over and over, just whatever. Subtle tweaks that didn't yeah. make a difference. Dude, honestly, Indian comes out with this and that and this and that and it's like it, I, and I'll say I think it's because of that that we have all these brand new models that we've seen in the past 4 or 5 years 100% so w w without Indian given that competition do you think that any of this stuff would, would be going on right now? we'd still be moving up you know Three cubic, uh, uh, two cubic inches at a time, or you know, of course. and it'd be like, Absolutely. oh, another new paint job. Absolutely. I mean, who's their primary source of competition? Indian. Indian, that's it. And vice versa for her, for Indian is Harley. Yeah. That's who's king of the baggers. Yeah. That's where, and, and this is what, like I said, keeps the product. Moving and that's the awesome part of it. It is. That, and and, and I, I hate it that people don't see it that way. I hate it that people are like, mm -hmm. well, no, like the Indian should just you know close up shop and go away. Like, no, dude, like. Are you kidding me? This it's the reason why we yeah. have King of the Baggers. Correct. It's the reason why, why even this bike today exists. Correct. This brand new model right here. You know, like it it, that it, it really irks me when people just say those comments like that. Because they're, they're not open-minded. They're, they're not looking at the playing field. They're not looking at, hey, well, it the improvements that have been happening. Right. On both ends. Right, 100%. On both ends. Without a doubt. And listen, we're not saying Indians without flaws or anything by any means. They're all flawed. Everybody's flawed. Nothing's perfect like we said earlier. But that is what has made them launch forward and say, hey, we got to step up our game. You know what? And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, for all the Indian... Uh, naysayers? Naysayers and the Indian fans. Yeah. With this machine, Indian's going to be like, hmm. Indian needs to respond now. 100%. They're going to respond. Because without a doubt. after Indian came out with, with the Sport Chief and, and the Challenger, Harley Davidson needed to respond. And this is their response here. Right. Uh, Indian needs to respond now. And because move. Indian needs to come out with a performance driven, even though like the Challenger is a performance type of bagger from factory. But they're going to have to tweak but, stuff. But they're, they're, they're going to have to change things up big yeah. time now. They're going to have to make something with that dash. Something that I spent a lot of money for, they're going to have to be like, well, maybe we can come up with something in between. Or hey, some, some of the performance gear and stuff that people are doing to these uh, Indians... Maybe we're going to have to yeah. come out with something in yeah. that, you know, in that realm Offer more well. from, from their catalog. Of course. Um, now, I want to dive into something else. Because I'm, at the same time, we, we also need to be honest here, mm -hmm. right? Um, Indian did get a lot of ideas from Harley Davidson. Of course. 1980, what did you have? Harley Davidson had the uh, the Tour Glide, oh, yeah. which is like the, the original kind of road glide, you may say. Yeah. 1980, and, and Indian wasn't around. No, it, was you know? it was like victory at that time. I, think. I, I don't know. If they were even out. around. <laughs> yeah, but Tour Guide came out around the 80s. Cool looking bike. I've actually <clears> seen <throat> a few Tour. I've seen one or two Tour Glides around here still. That They're still up and running, which is pretty cool. Um, right? Then Tour Glide later on, blah, blah, becomes the Road Glide. You know, then the Road Glide mm -hmm. later on, it gets that um, the Mount Rushmore update. Brand new fairing again. Yeah. Right? Then Indian comes out with the Challenger. And then you can see some characteristics, right, um, mm -hmm. that emulate the Roguelide. But at the same time, it's its own thing. Right. It's its own identity because you, you could, you, we, we put <clears throat> both bikes side by side. You own them. Right. They're so different. They're very different. They're, they're similar, but they're so different, you know? And I, I, feel, I feel like Indian gets a lot of heat, but then a lot of people don't talk about BMW. Because BMW has a similar fairing that looks like a street glide. Right. You know? It, uh, Honda with, with the Goldwing. Kawasaki. Like, they, they, these are all bikes that have big fairings, but right. they don't get any heat. Any heat. But you, you know, know why? Because it's not the... That's not their, their big niche, though. Right. One of them, when it comes to those companies. But I feel like with these guys, it's like, oh, 1901, 1903. Oh, you know, who started first? Who went out of business? Who lasted? You know? Yeah. So that whole thing comes into play, which is just, you know... Yeah. They, they've been competing for 100 years. 100%. I mean, I'm about to say 100 years for Indian because no. they've gone out of business a few times. So, right. whatever. And, and listen, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, you know, they're here today. Yeah. They're here now. And that's what's important. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like, this, these are the people pushing the, the you know, the, the envelope, which is 
accelerating everything forward for everybody, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I mean, if, if if tomorrow another company came out with a with a uh, a touring bagger V twin American V twin, are we just gonna shun them automatically? I'll give you a perfect example. Not a bagger, but the new Buell bike coming out for right. 2025, right. which is supposed to be kind of like uh, a, a, a Harley. Yeah. Are people already dumping? And it's it? like an FXR ha ha had a baby with, with a soft tail. It's sick. And everybody wants it. Yeah. All the Harley guys want it. Right. I want one. Uh, everybody... I'm like that bike. It looks amazing. It looks. It looks like you don't need to do anything to it. And it's so. <laughs> and, and if you look at it, if if you take that Buell off the tank, what are you gonna say? What what if if, if you put Indian on that Buell tank, somebody would have a fit. No, but it, but but if if it had no logo on it, when you were walking by. I I'd, I'd still be intrigued by it and want to check it out. But what would you think it would be? You probably say it's a Harley. Yeah. Yeah. I'd probably call it a Harley. Yeah. Like if I didn't know any better and just was like, is that a Harley? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah. Without a doubt, I would think that was a Harley. Mm -hmm. But I don't see anybody dumping on that. Yeah. On the contrary, because, being, because it's not Indian. Right. Right. That's what it is. So that's it's what that, that 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 hatred comes in. It's like you know, it, it, and it is what it is. I mean, I understand that from my point. I I like the of course. I like the the combative. You know, back and forth, and I'm better than you. I love that. I love competition. Dude. I I think it's awesome. Listen, I'm a fan of the underdog. So like, yeah. as much as I'm a fan of Indian, I mean, uh, excuse me, of Harley, I'm also a fan of Indian because I'm like, let's see what they come out with next. You Absolutely. Know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. You know, I, I and to be honest with you, I had a victory years ago, and I wasn't a fan of Indian when it Ooh. came out. I was, <laughs> yeah, that fairing was terrible. <laughs> The fairing was terrible. The shape of the bags was terrible, but it was a, it was a great bike. It handled, you know, it did a lot of things. Good. They actually sounded pretty good. Huh? They actually sounded pretty. They good. did. They did. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, guess what? Even if you want to say, "Oh, now it's Indian," whatever it is, but I was not a fan of the Indian when it first came out, and then when I rode it, I was like, "Wow." Well, you could kind of say that the new Indians are victories. Yeah. Because when when Polaris yeah. bought out the companies. They shut the doors on Victor and said, we're not going to do a victory. Now these victors are going to be Indians. We're going to do India. We're going to open up India. Boom. Yeah. And a lot of those Indians have a lot of characteristics from victory. You can still see a lot of stuff in there. That, well, that's from Inverted a victory. Front ends. That's from a victory. That's from a victory, you know? So, yeah. without a doubt. You know? The way they, the, the way they, uh, the, the intake is, like where the filter is inside the frame. Yeah. That My victory had that. I had the mono shock. I had the inverted yeah. front end. And the bike handled fantastic. Yeah. So. It's just it's just silly to me how people are just copy copy copy. Like no, like every the Challenger is its own thing and its own identity. The Rogue Glide is its own thing and its own identity. The new Rogue Glide, same thing. Like they're all so different. You can put them side by side. They all look different. I mean, to to us, like for the normal person who doesn't really know about bikes, they'll just look at it and be like, well, okay, it's just a bike. <laughs> well, it's a bike. You know, right. they, they wouldn't run anything, but it's a cruiser. That's what they think. Yeah, well, it's just for going long distance. Um. I just, yeah, man, I, the, the whole copy thing, that, that just needs to stop. Like, it's just, it's just funny. It's like, oh, well, Harley Davidson's copying India now. Yeah. No, they're not. I don't think Harley Davidson's copying anybody because, you know what, they've always done their own thing. I'm not saying they didn't share ideas. I mean, they get ideas from what the consumers out there are doing. Sure. You know, so they're in these rallies. They, they, they're in all the pits and everything. And they're trying to see, well, what, well what's everybody going for now what does everybody like you know what, what? read the comments here exactly you know so what, what what can we tweak up to make it or you know and stay current with stuff that Absolutely. they do you know? and that everybody does with anything to I stay mean, current that's how you you know that's how you figure it out yeah but as far as copying no no no, no way. Way. that's not on i, I really don't see that on either side man. yeah if not indian would have went hey you know ditch the mono shock let's do uh you know dual shot you know exactly so that, that, I, that, that's a big point right there. So. Yeah, like well, you yeah. know, on, on the contrary, they went against the norm. They were like, "Let's go with what, uh, what so many other manufacturers have done." So one could say, I guess, Indian copied everybody else <laughs> right, right, <laughs> on right, the right. suspension. Right, you know, right, you're not right. going to say that though. Yeah. Anything else so, you want to add? No, I, you know what? They're great bikes. You like what you like. Ride it, enjoy it, customize it the way you want it, and live your life and just be like us. Yeah, man. Like everything. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah be open-minded. Open-minded. That's it. That's it. Anyways, guys, drop your thoughts and comments down below. I want to know what you guys think. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot of uh, Harley fans out here who are going to drop their comments and they're going to go one way. There's going to be a left and a right. 
That's okay though. It's a left and a right, and I love that. I love that. I, I, Me too. I, I, I love that. You know, let, let, let's sit here, let's talk, let's argue, and let, let's have a, 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 a civil um, discord, bro. That's it, man. We we don't need to agree, but at least it's not the conversation. Absolutely. That's, that's huge. It. That's what's important. Guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button that's going to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, let the force with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. That was good, man. That was another good one. Really good one.